Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, and, uh, well, you know who you are. I'm Useful Idiot Welcome, and uh, today I want to talk about uh, Palestine by way of Sweden. And that's the fact that uh, now we have Sweden uh, is going to recognize the state of Palestine. And this is a, a pretty big deal. And the reason why it's a pretty big deal is because it's the only uh, quasi vassal state of the United States in of the United States and its influence that uh, is going to recognize the Palestinian state. And uh, it's rather uh, uh, disturbing for me to look at the list of all the countries uh, who have recognized Palestine and those who have it. And uh, the, the particular situation we find ourselves in is in 1988 when uh, Yasser Arafat uh, unilaterally declared Palestine as a state. Uh, Ninety countries uh, immediately uh, recognized uh, Palestine, which is uh, interesting in contrast to the creation of the Israeli state and how slow a lot of countries were uh, to recognize the new state of Israel. But uh, I digress. But uh, out of the 193 countries uh, represented in the United Nations, which is virtually uh, uh, virtually every country on earth, uh, 134 of those countries recognize Palestine. And so roughly 60 countries do not uh, recognize Palestine for one reason or another. Um, uh, one of the countries that, that, that doesn't recognize Palestine for whatever reason is Myanmar. So that's a one where one has to uh, delve a little deeper to find out uh, what the motivations are for not recognizing Palestine. But unfortunately, that when you look at the list, it becomes uh, quite obvious that it's a complete political ploy and uh, that the only uh, countries that are really against uh, the recognition and acceptance of the uh, state of Palestine are the United States and uh, Israel. And it's debatable who is the master state and who is the vassal state. Uh, sometimes I think the United States controls Israel. Other times I think Israel controls the United States. I'm sure it's a little bit of both. Um, but uh, the fact is it's a political chit and the, the, the tragedy uh, of the Palestinian people, the tragedy of Palestine, uh, the hopes of an uh, uh, independent Palestinian state with all the rights that go along with it uh, that has become a, a pipe dream uh, is, is a, a political uh, tool for a, a lot of countries. And that's very unfortunate, especially when we hear all this rhetoric uh, about the rights of people for self-determination, national sovereignty, and, uh, and aspirations. And uh, so anyway, uh, to get back to the, the main point, uh, what we have is a, a block of the United States and its vassal states um, that has uh, kept uh, the Palestinian uh, state from being created. That and the, the uh, machinations of Israel itself, um, all the while claiming they want a two-state solution when actually they have a one-state solution and Palestine is probably not part of that. And uh, so we look at the list um, of states that do not recognize uh, Palestine to this day. South Korea, Mexico, New Zealand, Australia, U.S., Canada, Colombia, and the entire uh, Western Europe. So in other words, the entire uh, rest of the world, when you see the map, which I've attached below, you'll see that uh, virtually all of Latin America, except for Colombia, interestingly, uh, which is a vassal state of the uh, United States axis. And then we have uh, all of Western Europe, but uh, Eastern Europe um, is very much a, a supporter of the state of Palestine. And, uh, and then, of course, like I say, Japan, uh, South Korea, and Mexico, all uh, vassal states of the United States and uh, therefore uh, just uh, politically uh, do not recognize Palestine, which is a fairly interesting reason to do it. So to get back to uh, the, the story of the day, now we have Sweden who are breaking from this tradition. They're, uh, they're breaking from the tradition in Scandinavia that doesn't recognize Palestine. They're breaking from the tradition of the Eurozone that doesn't recognize Palestine. Uh, they're breaking from the tradition of U.S. Israeli vassal states who do not recognize of Palestine, and that's a good thing. So uh, we see some encouragement from Sweden to uh, other countries, 
in the Eurozone to uh, take that step as well. And that uh, could get uh, all the more closer uh, to finally creating some kind of a, a Palestinian state. Um, of course, the major hurdle being uh, coming to some sort of arrangement uh, with Israel. And uh, so there we have it, uh, a, a small story uh, seemingly in the scheme of things, but uh, a huge story uh, actually in the scheme of things. Sweden recognizes uh, the state of Palestine. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?